hey guys welcome back to my channel it's your girl constance if you are seeing this beautiful show for the first time you are welcome please click on the subscribe button and subscribe and if you are a returning subscriber you are most welcome thanks for tuning in thanks for watching my videos thanks for your love and support i appreciate you guys so much from the bottom of my heart so guys we are on to another beautiful vlog today yes and i'm taking you guys along with me we are going to the renaissance monument in dakar it's actually the tallest statue in africa so i'm taking you guys along with me i am going to show you the statue the environment so i'm going to vlog our movement while we are on our way to the statue so just stay tuned and make sure you go there with us and have the whole fun so guys let's start going we don't have time So guys, as we are on our way right now, I'll be showing you part of the beautiful city of Dakar. This particular road leads to the statue and it's also by the seaside. So guys here I stopped 
to show you a glance of the statue from afar yes that is where we are going so let's keep going guys Guys, as you can see, we are getting closer to the statue. I had to stop again to show you guys the statue from afar. You know, I don't know, but I feel so excited taking you guys along with me. guys we just arrived at the statue yes we just arrived and um, i can't wait to take you guys up there yes hey guys we are here and we are going up to the statue so guys this is the statue right here and i am going to climb the stairs i am taking you guys up to the statue you can see a giant man lifting a woman and a boy and he's wearing a cap so i am taking you guys right at his cap that cap he's wearing that is where we are going so just stay tuned and don't miss this fun guys we are almost there it's not easy climbing these stairs guys i'm actually losing my breath <laughs>
guys we have arrived the statue as you can see it's mighty it's big it's a giant statue guys just imagine how small we are underneath the statue right now i am going to take you behind the statue i am going to show you the behind the back door the environment then we can go up the statue This is the back door of the statue, yes, and here is the environment surrounding it. You can see how beautiful it is. And from here, you can see part of Dakar, yes. This is the statue, this is the woman and the boy he's carrying, this is their back. So here, we can see Dakar from afar. You can see the beautiful city of Dakar, how beautiful Dakar is, you know. Senegal is a very small African country, but very beautiful. Yes, very, very beautiful, guys. Guys, from here, you can see part of the beautiful city of Dakar. And right in front of this statue, you can see the African flags. All the African countries are well represented. Here, I can see the Nigerian flag. Guys, we are inside the statue right now and here is the ground floor and as you can see we have televisions here here I am going to show you guys how the statue was constructed from the scratch to the finish so guys keep watching and see how this beautiful statue was constructed Guys, here you can see the little baby's finger and also the woman's head. Here we also have the toes. Here we have the head. You can see it's almost at its completion. Guys, the white men are amazing. They are wonderful. I just imagine how they came about all this and how beautiful it turned out. Guys, there are, there are people that are blessed with magic hands. Here we have the head of the baby. Guys, isn't this amazing? And here they are constructing the man's head. As you can see, he's wearing a cap. And this is where I am taking you guys to. I am taking you guys to the man's cap. So just stay tuned and don't miss this phone. It's so amazing, guys guys you can see the inside hall of the statue it is completed and it is so beautiful the statue is called monument de la renaissance meaning the moment of rebirth right now i am going to show you around the hall This picture right here is the Freedom Statue. If you can remember in my previous video where I took you guys to Gore Island, the slave trade island, where the slave trade took place 300 years ago. That was when um, the statue was built, when the African slaves regained their freedom.
Next resource right here are the slaves' house. If you can remember in the previous video, you would have seen these places. And here is the door of no return. Like I said in that video, this is the door of no return. This is a door whereby once you pass through it, you are not coming back to Africa. That is the door right there at the middle of that building I am touching right now. That is the door of no return. Once a slave passes through that door, that slave is not coming back to Africa. Right now, the man in charge is taking us to the first floor to show us around and also to explain to us the things that will be found there. From his explanations, these are Senegalese ancient men and the role they played during those days. Now he is taking us to the second floor, to the hall where is said to be a place where the president of the country at that time entertained the other presidents that came for the inauguration of the statue. Et les délégations qui étaient ici avaient offert des œuvres d'art en guise de participation ce jour-là. Et le Burkina Faso avait donné ce masque de culture là-bas. C'est une œuvre d'art. À côté, il y a un sac traditionnel du Kenya. Les chefs d'œuvre que nous avons là-bas au fond nous viennent du Ghana. Il y en a une autre ici qui vient du Mali. 
Donc les dogs ont utilisé cette échelle là au Mali pour pouvoir monter au niveau des greniers. Cette lance en noir et blanc, symbole de bravo, a été donnée par le Rwanda. Après, vous avez le fragment de la porte de Ouida au Bénin. C'est comme Gore ici au Sénégal. Ensuite, on a des masques de couple de fécondité, Baoulé, qui viennent de la Côte d'Ivoire. Ce masque d'éléphant derrière vous a été donné par le Cameroun. Here he is showing us the symbol of some of the African countries. Sénégal, voici sa donation. Donc, cet tapis en face de vous. Ça vient de la manufacture sénégalaise des arts décoratifs, AKS. Here he is taking us to the third floor. qui a été donné par l'Angola cette fois -ci. Ce trône-là appartenait à une famille royale en Angola avant la colonisation des Portugais. Maintenant, pour la statue, retenez que elle est faite en cuivre pour les personnages et en béton armé pour le sol, c'est-à-dire la pierre qui supporte le travail. Donc tout ce monument-là fait 7000 tonnes. C'est la statue mesure 52 mètres. Le projet de la construction a pris 8 ans. Car on a commencé en 2002, le 15 avril, pour finir en 2010, le mois de mars. Et la main d'œuvre a été non première. On a appelé une entreprise de la Corée du Nord pour sa construction. Pierre Boudiavi a été pas, et l'architecte qui a fait le plan du bâtiment, le Et en même temps, celui qui a fait l'esquisse, le dessin des personnages. Donc la statue, elle symbolise une famille africaine qui sort et retourne de la terre pour aller vers la lumière avec l'enfant pointant le futur, l'horizon, comme ça la signification. Et à la fin des travaux de ce projet, l'État du Sénégal avait dépensé 12 milliards de francs pour la réalisation, l'équivalent de 30 millions en dollars américains, si on fait la Here we have the image of the Senegalese president from the previous to the present president of Senegal. Here is Barack Obama and here is the door of no return. According to the man, the statue represents the future of Africa, the rebirth of Africa after the slave trade. From the statue, you can see the little boy was pointing at somewhere. They said the little boy was pointing at the future of Africa. Right now, I am inside the elevator, taking us right at the top of the statue. We are going to the man's cap. So I am going to show you guys around. Just stay tuned, guys. Guys, I am at the head of the statue. You can see the woman the man is carrying. You can see it from the cap because she is below the cap. Guys, I am actually at the head of that statue right now. If you are scared of heights, sorry, you cannot come here. You know, Constance is adventurous. Constance will go there. Constance wants to see everything herself. You understand? <laughs> so, guys, it's so amazing being here. You know, such a giant statue and I am taken to the top, to the head of the statue. Guys, I am far, far, far away from the ground. This is that little baby pointing at the future of Africa. Guys, this place is amazing. If you visit Dakar or if you visit Senegal, make sure you have this experience. It's something to talk about. It's something to tell your children tomorrow. Guys, I'm actually at the head of the statues. <laughs> You can see the ocean, the Atlantic Ocean. You can see Dakar from here. You can see how tiny it is. This statue is giant, guys. This statue is very big. Like they said, it's the tallest statue in Africa. It's the biggest and longest statue in Africa. It's about 15-story building. Guys, you guys can't imagine how happy I am being here right now. 
it's such an experience for me right now i am going to show you outside the car from the cap you can see how small everywhere is and god guys you guys can't imagine the excitement <laughs> it's so beautiful guys guys i love adventures and this was quite an experience for me guys i was so happy so excited right now i am going down from the statue i am right inside the elevator taking me down the statue now i am coming out from the statue as you can see i am covering my face with mark so you can't even see how excited i am i was so happy i was able to do this with you guys and i hope you guys had fun with me because it was so much fun for me you can see how huge and tall the statue is that head right there is where i am coming out from now guys so guys right now i am going down the stairs and like i promised while i was going up that i was going to count the stairs to know how many they are in number and after counting i found out that they are 207 stairs guys these stairs are not easy to climb if you are fat and you want to slim down within an hour just come here and climb the stairs over and over again and you are absolutely going to turn to agbani dorego in one hour <laughs> guys these stairs are not easy i counted them and they are 207 stairs without error So guys, as you can see, we just came down from the statue now. We actually went to the head of the statue, you can see. So we have come to the end of this vlog. If you have watched up to this point, I am grateful to you. Thanks for your time, thanks for your love, thanks for your support. Please, at the end of this video, don't forget to like, comment, share, and please subscribe. Alright guys, I will see you in my next video. Bye-bye.